I just spent, I'm wearing these glasses because I've just been looking at screens all day. Did I just spend my entire morning watching TikTok and it's now 1 p.m.? I woke up at, I actually woke up at 9.30. It was the first time I have not set an alarm. And honestly, like since I've moved here for sure, but I would even say like months and months. I feel, I set an alarm every single day. <laughs> or like my body just wakes up at like 8.30 if I don't. Today is the first day I've slept in in so long until 9.30 and then I've just been on my phone, which you know, whatever. We all need those days. I've not had a morning like this literally in so long. So anyways, I need to change clothes and like feel like I have my life together a little bit and we're gonna get started on today, Saturday morning. I have an idea and I don't know if it's gonna work because I don't know if I have the tools, but I got this really big wreath um, from Bed Bath & Beyond. Ordered it a while ago for our front door because you can't find too many like big wreaths. This is a 30 inch wreath because you have a huge front door. Then we ended up getting a live wreath for the front door. We already have a, a fake wreath on the side door. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna try to attach this to like the railing up here on my balcony, like facing outward. So when you're in our backyard, it'll be cute. I'm gonna try to hang this with a ribbon. As expected, way too small. So I'm looking for other tools just like around my room. This one though, why do I have so many ribbons? She's on. I'm gonna see what it looks like from the back. I'm not gonna show on camera what it looks like. That would obviously show the entire outside of my house. So, you're gonna see my reaction. Oh, it's cute! Oh, it's really cute! Oh, it's really cute! Okay, it looked great. <laughs> I was worried it was gonna look too small because you have like a really long balcony. It's perfect. I wish I could show you. All right, now I'm gonna sit out here for a little bit. Just editing this weekend's video for my main channel. I'm doing like an Amazon last minute gift ideas, so like, I don't know, I just found some good items I haven't mentioned in my other gift guide previously that will arrive in time for Christmas, so I'm almost done with that. Also, if you still need some gift ideas, this video is sponsored by Fancy. I talked about them um, in my like big main channel gift guide a little bit, but I'm gonna share some more in a second. Just gonna chill out here for a little bit. I've been loving coming out here every day for at least like an hour or two and just like, getting some fresh air compared to just doing everything in my room. As has been the case today, it's not like two, I just had breakfast. I have some fun things going on tonight. I also just made my one second a day thumbnail for the year. I'm mostly caught up editing that. Um, Yeah, I gotta plan out another video, just a lot's going on. My butt is cut off, hold on. I don't know why I feel like sitting like this right now. Before I work out, again, Fancy is sponsoring this video, so thank you so much to them. I wanted to share a few last minute gift ideas in case you still have a couple people you need to shop for. I still have, I mean, I am literally out of time. I've got to do this today. I have a couple things I still need to get for people. I'm running so low on ideas this year. Like, I don't know what it is. I've had more time than ever. And I mean, I have a lot of ideas, as it may seem from my like main channel gift guide stuff. And I do have good ideas, but I just, I don't know, a couple people in my family, I'm just like, I need something else good. You know what I mean? For whatever reason, if it's something someone's asking for, I'm not satisfied in giving them that. I think I've talked about this already. Might be counterintuitive because that's literally what the person wants, but it's not satisfying to me unless I get them something that like I think of myself. Actually, maybe I just need to browse Fancy a little bit more. So if you're unfamiliar with Fancy, they'll be linked below. Basically, they are just a great like one-stop shop for finding like unique gifts, but also just unique products in general. There's so many businesses and like small businesses that are all sold on this one website. Everything from like fun home decor, kitchen and bar things. They've got some really good jewelry. They've got like great travel accessories, clothes, I'm getting some slippers from there. They have a lot of art if you're decorating your house, but especially in terms of gifts, it's just a lot of things that you like wouldn't think to find, I feel like. I just got three new items from them that I think would make really good gifts. First of all, I feel like in all my gift guides, I've included like a healthy amount of alcohol related products, but <laughs> I think this is so cute. It's this little wooden wine stopper and it's like a heavy one, you know, some wine stoppers are like, you know, they get, they get the job done more or less, but this one is like very high quality and you can get them for any state, so. This could be good, especially for someone who's like, I mean, anyone living in their state who has some state pride, but also especially for people who like have moved away from home. And you know, this year, I feel like this could be an especially thoughtful gift because a lot of people, myself included, haven't been able to go home as much as we normally do. Um, so a lot of people are just a little bit homesick and I think this can be a thoughtful little gift. Another idea for someone, of course, you're not getting probably as much use out of this this year, but if you wanna give someone a really quality travel accessory, I picked up this. This is called the Gray Leather Gadget Travel Bag, I believe. Like, she feels premium. It's the real deal. <laughs> this is what the inside looks like. It's like kind of canvasy. Then we have these elastic straps. So this is probably meant down here for like an iPad or Kindle or something a little bit bigger. I would put like hard drives or something in this probably. There's a little zip up pouch to put stuff back here and then you can fit like all your other charges and cables. You could also get creative if you didn't want to go the tech route and probably put like makeup and stuff in this like put palettes under here and then like makeup brushes and then just loose products in the back. This is just a very high quality piece. And then lastly, for the person in your life, if you have one who is like more into the like unique home touches or just unique decor, things like that. I know a couple of people like that. 
um, as well as like I'm kind of trying to get more into like I don't know just unique decor that doesn't look like it's in every like young mid-20 girls house <laughs> this is actually a vase well you could either use it as like a little sculpture decor item it's just this little hand but as you can tell we have the hole up here you literally can just stick a couple flowers I need to pick up more flowers I've been getting into like making pretty floral displays as I showed in another vlog but now I actually it's embarrassing I still have that in my house still in the vase but it is very dead this is so cute to put a couple flowers in I would even honestly just get like little artificial flower sprig type thing I love it it's just this little porcelain vase I have a little engraving down here going on from the person who made it I just love this it's something that I would not have found if it weren't for browsing around on fancy so you know they got so many products you can spend a lot of time just scrolling around so I'm gonna have I have like a landing page profile on their website it's just fancy.com slash Morgan Yates it'll be linked below all of these items will be like saved to my page for you to be able to click and shop at as well as just like other favorites I have on there as well so if you're struggling a little bit with coming up with some ideas for people highly recommend browsing there and yeah thank you again so much to them for sponsoring this and it is now workout time actually I need to do a couple things before and then I'm gonna work out Adrian just helped me film something and now we're having a festive evening so, in the new house. In the new house. <laughs> oh, it's I live here at this too point. now. We've, had a no, group. No. We've been here for a while. What? Okay. All right, what's on our itinerary? Um, step one, mm -hmm. be cool. Step oh. two, well, you better get <laughs> started. <laughs> Excuse me, look at this jacket. <laughs> yeah, look at what our, okay. um, Step two, go to CVS. Step three, because we need uh, a couple of ingredients for our step three. Well, mm -hmm. step three is probably dinner. I'm yeah, dinner hungry. actually. I'm hungry. I was eating okay. like ranch straws. Okay. <laughs> step three, din. Mm -hmm. Step four, FSU in terms of cookies and things. Um, we have, uh, we are making a few things at home. I've been getting into just like doing more fun, like food and drink things at home because what else is there to do at this point in time in LA? So we are making gluten-free little sugar cookies, Christmas yeah. cookies. I bought like Christmas cookie cutters. We need to go buy like icing and a couple other ingredients, sugar, you know? Oh yeah. A couple things. And then we're gonna and make espresso, mar espresso martinis. Which we frequent in other countries, but not really here. Yeah, it's just well, like a me and Adrian yeah. thing to do. So cute. Yeah. So I love us That's what's happening. Do. And then we're having a slumber We're having a slumber party. party. <laughs> and I think my roommates are all gone for like actually this entire week. Um, gonna so I'm gonna have the house to myself. Oh my god. Good thing I cleaned no, that today. You you wouldn't have wanted to do that a few hours ago. All right, let me get some Hot Wheels. Should we get some Hot Wheels? Do, Adrian, do I need any spam? I'm all <laughs> stocked up. <laughs> Why do they sell cars? We do need sugar though. Oh, whoa, wow. Look sugar. at these antics. You about had me walking past what we actually <laughs> I need. need. I didn't have <laughs> this is miraculous. Adrian. Does this sticker pack take you back to childhood? Whoa. Like getting graded? That was oh, a lost memory. Yeah. You know, when you would like yeah. get a, a smiley are... if you did well or something? What? Yeah, like on the paper. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> wow. How cute are these little glasses? These technically aren't like martini glasses or are, no, they're just little like cocktail glasses. From, I asked for these for Christmas. They're from Crate and Barrel from my parents and they sent me a bunch of them. They came early, so nice. <laughs> so I wasn't gonna bring it back in my suitcase. All right, also very convenient for an espresso martini is our espresso machine. Um, otherwise, I don't know how I would have done this because I got rid of my Nespresso long ago. Oh, whoa. Whoa, she's spilling. Oh, I am spilling. Okay, you're good. I think this cocktail shaker is defective. Oh, it's like a cocktail shaker. Well, it's like a cocktail shaker. Float check. Alrighty, roommate. Oh, useless dude. Oh, are we gonna do a taste test? A taste test. Thank you, Barry and Dana, for the glasses. Mm. Whoa. Are you Whoa! kidding? Whoa! I could drink five of these. We'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. These are All right, really good. For the record, the recipe we used, we're finding mixed um, results over the internet, was just one ounce vodka, one ounce Kahlua, one ounce espresso. I like this. Top to the couple beans for this effect. <laughs> We're playing a game of muting the TV. <laughs> so we post made it some dinner. I got like a little salmon mashed potato corn thing. There's like some good sauce on this from 
Where's it from? Where's that? Granville. Granville. Mine and then corn too. Is this like a corn restaurant? Ooh, are they like? We got some gluten in the corn pasta. industry. This is a lot of pasta, <laughs> and I'm I'm here for it oh because God, that's a lot. I never get pasta. All right, hey, now we are starting our cookie process. Adrienne is being a narcissist, sitting over here looking at videos of herself. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you were, anyways. All right, so what we got? Oh, we don't need that, huh? We need our gluten-free flour. Um, this is heavy. <laughs> Sugar. We did make a little mistake and not buy in advance like icing and sprinkles mm -hmm. for cookie decorating purposes. I did think to get all the Christmas cookie cutters, but we're limited in our decor, so we're just gonna see what that ends up being, I suppose. Do you want me to separate the colors? Ooh, yes, if you could separate the colors, I, I will mix up our dough. Why is there's green only four? Green is ones. overly represented in this sample. This is two packs. <laughs> what? Oh, did you know you can get copyrighted from singing? Well, let's not tell anyone that. Who can pour this You video. cannot get copyrighted from singing. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> We may or may not have gotten a clip of me like compressing this <laughs> and it shot everywhere and I think it might have oh been blurry. Look at this. Alright, so this is where someone who's a professional would use a mixer. We even own a mixer, actually, my roommate Maddie who owns everything baking. But I'm just gonna take it on with the old fashioned wood spoon. If you followed our vlog, or my vlogs for a really long time, you may or may not know, Adrian and I, one of our, all right, my hair, we're just gonna we are get both. past the fact that it looks really bad, so it needs to be washed. But we love our karaoke moments every now and then, and at our last place, for years and years, we have been just so comfortable there, we will karaoke. Yep. We love it, whatever. We love it. And now we are separated in different residences. And I thought a few days ago about how, where will we ever karaoke again? Because if Without Adrian's here, listening. more than likely one of my roommates is here. If I'm at her house, she has a new roommate. Like that, I mean, we're like, just not that good, you yeah, know? Like not, it's a little embarrassing. This <laughs> is like a thing that we enjoy. Like we're not like thinking we're all amazing. We're very yeah. off key. I was like, wow, we're never gonna be able to karaoke again. But here we are tonight. Right now, with the house to ourselves, Woo! and so I think we're Woo! gonna we're gonna karaoke a little bit. Yes! Well, what's our what's the first song? You're up first. Wait, wait. Is there any sort of roulette? Is there a website that's like randomkaraoke.net? I think we're starting with some Kelly Clarkson. Oh, do we want Christmas Kelly Clarkson or just yeah, let's, reg? Let's start with the Christmas. All right. What's so annoying about this TV compared to our old house is we cannot audio control the remote. So like, just I'll be here for three to five business days typing out like one thing. <laughs> Nothing like a millennial rolling pin <laughs> to roll out our dough, which let me say, I cannot emphasize enough, tastes awful. Terrible. <laughs> so Terrible. bad. Terrible. At this point, we're only going through, we're not even gonna eat these. This is just for the decorating, which honestly, what's even the point of the decorating? Because <laughs> you're just eating sprinkles. You're eating our, our few decorating items. Dough Chemically no. wrong. Like I used, I don't even know if these are gonna cook because I also use like so much sugar trying to make this taste yeah, better. Like I, this I can't even lift this. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. Right, so this tasted so bad that I added so much extra sugar trying to make it okay. <laughs> and and now I'm cooking. I can't believe I bought cooking cutters. Oh my this. God. Well, now you'll have those, but still. Oh, okay, do we just say forget this whole activity? <laughs> I'm just so disappointed in my own all, my own like gluten-free flour bowl. <laughs> well, who would have thought yeah, that this flour was so bad? I know mean, it's like not my fault, but I'm still just so disappointed. Yeah, I think I'm not mad, maybe I I totally feel. I feel like maybe I save this for another occasion. I think so too. The cutting Without process was fun. <laughs> There's something weirdly satisfying about this though. Yeah. Wow, this is super sad. <laughs> Morgan doesn't even like cupcakes, so we can't even make these. I said you can make them. No, I mean, I know, but it's not as fun. I'm this not even, it's so, it's so why do you keep putting it in your mouth? It was, Stop, it no. Finger. If anyone is gluten-free out there, have you tried this flour? Do not get this, okay? Okay. It's the single worst thing I've ever tasted. It's so bad. It tastes like poison, asked someone on Reddit said. So. We're now trying to decide on a Netflix Christmas movie. Good morning from us. Good morning. I've just been laying on the couch for so long. And now she's leaving me. Ow, my neck hurts. 
my calf muscles hurt for like actually no reason and I can't Wait. find my slippers. <laughs> Guess what I have done? <laughs> I walked to a little local coffee shop so I could get this iced gingerbread latte that is <laughs> so overpriced, but you know, it's like a very random coffee shop. I feel like it is uh, on the brink of going out of business, but so I tried to support them. <laughs> so I was carrying it and I was going to open the gate to like our property. So I was holding a bunch of things and I like had this leaned onto me thinking it would be fine and it poured, it's kind of dried now, poured down my shirt so i now get to do laundry it just went all the way down everything is damp it is now monday and i just edited this vlog up to this point just truly what a spastic vlog like me and adrian <laughs> just are we ever making any sense yesterday for the remainder of sunday i did literally nothing for being honest i've been in a little bit of a funk the case for most it sounds like tornado winds outside i'm confused yesterday was not my day today it's not feeling like my day but i have so much to get done these next few days also i guess yesterday or this morning we hit 100,000 on this channel so thank you so much i've been wanting to do that that's been a goal of mine for 2020 and we did it just in the nick of time yeah i appreciate all of you guys keeping up with my vlogs and i hope everyone is having a wonderful week and i will see you in my next video again check out fancy below goodbye <laughs>